Ho, 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 look who it is. It's me, that's right. I am back from vacation, officially. And uh, <laughs> yes, this is the first video I decided to post. I, uh, If you watched the stream before I went on vacation, I promised I would talk about this. I would make a video about this uh, once I've, I'd collected my thoughts. Uh, for those of you who don't know, who are not in the know, uh, one of, uh, I would say, acquaintances, friends that I had, uh, and one person that used to stream for D DLE, uh, Mythyard, uh, allegedly uh, scammed his league, as in he took money, uh, and it, you basically used funds he wasn't supposed to use, and, you know, it's been like two, almost three months now, where the winners have not been paid what they've been what what they've earned essentially right for um for competing in their league now you might be saying damn right through almost three months why are you talking about this now why why didn't you bring this up sooner and it's very simple I'm, I'm not really like a huge drama guy i don't really care about like the drama aspect of this even though i know the drama aspect's good for clicks and views and that's what you guys are probably interested in which you, there's no shame in that right like if like inter drama is entertaining that's why there's so much dramatic stuff that does well on youtube and stuff that does well on tv shows etc etc um so you know there there is i do think there's a lesson to learn here and i do think that letting people in the community especially in the Duel links community which is already you know mistrusting of a bunch of other organizations that have done the whole scammer thing. Um, I think bringing attention to it is very important. And I think talking about it rather than just ignoring it uh, is super important as well. Um, for those that don't know, because Mythyard was never really huge on YouTube, it was more of a Twitch thing. Uh, Mythyard worked with us kind of in the beginning of DLE after I came on. He used to host Battle Phase EU, uh, and then he would host sometimes his KC Cup runs uh, on the channel, uh, which were always great fun. Um, but he did leave the organization, I would say, last June. So it was, it was it's been a, it's been many, many, many months, almost a year uh that he's been out of dle so the, the 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 whole drama has nothing really to do with dle the only thing is he used to stream for us way back in the day in the day so take that for whatever you will uh and then my communication with him pretty much died after that we didn't really keep close after that whole after he left the organization um so i'll go ahead and say that right now he's he's not a part of dle right now this has no reflection on us just this is my reflections of him as a person um after he left, he started his own organization, Box to Box, and uh, in Box to Box, it's it's essentially team wars, clan wars. If you ever played in those types of scenarios, you have a team of five or whatever his rules were, uh, and then you duel each team until you win, and you it's like a league. You every week you meet up, you play your games, and then the winner. You know, obviously, he's going to win a whole bunch of prize money. Uh, the entry fee, I think, was like a, a little over $100. So the overall prize money was well over $1,000. Um, and this $1,000 was not paid out for, I believe, a month at the time when it became like public knowledge. Um, after a month had passed, they had posted in the general uh, Discord that this had happened. They tried contacting Mythyard personally, and he didn't respond to them. Um, now, $1,000 is a lot of money. However, I don't think ruining your reputation and ruining your good name is worth a thousand bucks. I'll just say that right now. Uh, it, 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 I understand everyone has a price to like sell out and stuff like that, but a thousand bucks to essentially have to disappear and never show your face again, I, I don't think that's worth it. Um, and the amount of hate that, that you generate from that. But I digress. Uh, moving on. Basically, uh, what happened was I wanted to see if Mythyard would say anything, right? Because there's always two sides to a story. Um, and before people bring it up, yes, I'm aware about the whole Ukraine and Russian thing and Mythyard being in Russia, that may have had an influence in it. I highly doubt it, though, because the events, uh, those events did not happen until almost two months later from when the supposed scam happened. Um, so I don't think that is what ha what happened with him. I, I think probably what happened, based on information that is public, 
um, is that he would spend the money that people gave him uh, to hold for prize support, and he would then replace that money with his own funds, either through, I guess, his job, his real-life job or whatever, and then whenever he gets the money in real life, that's when he would pay it back. So I think probably what happened is more likely is he had spent that money with the intention of of paying it back once he you know got funds from his job and then it was just kind of an opportunity thing he didn't end up he just kept the money at that point um, i could be wrong it could be real life events impacting him but i think that's more likely what happened seeing as it all happened well in advance of real life events um now mythyard prior to this had told me that he was leaving the, the Yu-Gi-Oh scene in general, uh, that that he I don't that he just wanted to move on. This happened maybe a, a month, two months before all these events had gone down. So I thought nothing of it. I just thought he's moving on with his life as many people do in the scene. Um, and that at that point, I, I really had thought nothing of it, but he did come back a week later asking to join DLE again. At which point I was like, all right, listen, man, you know, like I, I can't have people coming in and out. If you have things to figure out, just figure them out. And then once you figure them out, you know, we can talk about maybe making you a moderator or something. Uh, but, you know, I, 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 I do think it's probably good for your sanity to move on from Yu-Gi-Oh! Because it doesn't, it looks like it's having a negative impact on you. So that pretty much was my last communication with Mythyard several, several months before the events that took place uh, and what he did, uh, and essentially just not paying out the team. And it's been two, three months now, almost three months since the team has not been paid out. So I think at this point, there's no real question that he just took the money and ran with it. And I think Mythyard, if you're watching this video, uh, do the right thing, pay out the teams. Uh, don't keep the money. I think that's a super shitty thing to do. The number one most important thing for us as community organizers, like uh, across, like not even Twitch and YouTube, just organizing tournaments and stuff, the most important thing is to have the players trust, right? Especially when we're asking them to, to put up the prize support. Communication goes a long way, I think. Uh, if you are having issues with payment, if there's issues with PayPal, if there's issues with whatever, communication is super important. And I think the only time you don't communicate to someone is when you're just trying to steal money from them, right? Uh, no matter what the issue is, saying something to those teams like, hey, I can't pay you until 30 days have passed because I spent the money or something. That's going to hit your credibility, but that's also not going to hit your credibility as much as just straight up being like, oh, hey, <laughs> you know, I, I just I just took the money and ran. Again, there's always two sides to a story, but Mythyard has basically refused to give up his side. So, you know, I can only I can only I can only assume what happened based on based on the events that I that that I have seen myself. Um, I'm hopeful that um you know, there's there's more to the story. There's a reason that he didn't pay, and it's you know, I I don't want I don't want him like any harm to come to the guy, but if he was like in jail, for example, and he literally comes out tomorrow and pays all of 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 the fines or whatever, then it's more understandable, right? But as it stands right now. He just hasn't said anything, and it looks like it looks like it's just a straight up scam, and it's very disappointing. Uh, I think the lesson to learn here is don't just trust anybody. Um, you know, like DLE has always made good on all its money promises. We've given out prize support from all the way to $10 to $2,000 to events. And we have not ever failed to give out the prize support, right? Uh, there are other communities like that out there as well. Team Wars is a fantastic league that's been run Uh Never, as far as I know, never been any issues. All DLM events, never any issues when it comes to monetary prizes. And many, 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 many others. So 
just uh, be aware. Uh, don't randomly trust people in the community, I guess, without having some sort of organization, I think, is the way to go about it. Um, or, you know, like actual pillars of the community. You know, if, if, if someone has like their Twitch and their YouTube and everything on the line and they host a tournament, it's a little different from just, oh, this guy just wins a bunch of tournaments and he's hosting a tournament. Just be careful is basically what I'm trying to get at. I don't think anyone could have foreseen Mithyar doing something like this. And I am very sorry to the teams that he scammed. I hope you guys, um, I, I listen, you guys need to talk to PayPal, do, do a charge back or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's, there's a bunch of other stuff coming about the guy that the, uh, there's like a huge dog pile of him and how he plays and if is his wins legitimate, all that stuff, all that stuff. I don't really care about what I care about is the money gets to the teams, right? Um, and I, and I hope that he at the very least does the right thing and pays out the money. That's pretty much all I have. Uh, thank you for listening to my story. I hope you guys, uh, are now more aware, learned a lesson. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't do this to be a drama queen. That's why I waited so long to make a video about it. Cause I wanted the dust to settle and I wanted to give Mythyard essentially a chance to do the right thing on his own, uh, but he's, it looks like he's decided not to. So here's the community pressure. Hopefully he does the right thing. Um, don't give Duel Links players a bad name. That's They don't deserve that. That's going to be it from me, boys. Take it easy. Stay safe. Happy videos coming soon, I promise. <laughs> Till next time.